Hey, what's going on guys? Batman 1999 here with another figure review and today we are going to be reviewing the Indiana Jones German officer figure. Now this doesn't have any really thing special going on with it. I kind of just wanted to review this because I got the Indiana Jones figure a while back. If you guys haven't seen that review, be sure to check that out. Um, I got it. And I said I need to get a bad guy to go with Indy. So I got the German officer. Now this damn this package has been a little bit damaged due to the fact that it's been in storage so long. Um, I got this on Amazon. I got a pretty good deal on it, so I went ahead and picked him up. And the dealer said that it was a little bit damaged due to the storage, but that's fine, you know. Uh, so um, it's pretty cool. I, I'm actually really looking forward to this. If you guys haven't seen my last review, it was the 1-6 scale Jack Sparrow and Elizabeth Swan review. So be sure to go check that out. But that's it for right now. Let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging, see what it's got and what it can do. Oh my god, guys. This figure is amazing. I just opened this and I've already found so much I like about it. A, f a first point is the articulation. This figure is loaded with articulation, and I will get to that later in this review. Um, the other bonus, he comes with this really cool gun. I gotta get the wrapping off of his hand first. This plastic wrapping was on his hand in the packaging, so now I gotta get it off. But he comes with this cool gun. And that's really cool. Get that out of his hand. Show that off. I'll set him down for a second. Let's look at the gun here. This is a really, really cool piece. Still got that plastic on it. And check this out. Is that not cool that it can do that? And it's also got this elastic material that helps stretch it out for if you wanted to wrap it around the German soldier when you're posing him, you can, which is really, really cool. Now, another thing I want to point out, which is a good thing, he's supposed to be a Nazi and there's no swastikas, which is a really good thing for this channel, but it's kind of disappointing. Uh, you would figure there would be a swastika on there, but I also understand why they didn't put that on there, because they don't want to offend people. And that's really good, but also disappointing. But I'll live with it because this is a PG channel and we don't want, you know, swastikas on here. But a bonus to this figure is his articulation. I'll go over that in just a minute. But I'm going to show off this head sculpt here. Not a lot of detail in his face, which is kind of disappointing. But, uh, yeah. Not a lot of detail in his face. Let's go ahead and put his hat on him, though. That's what makes him look cool. That's how you know he's a German officer. Just because of his hat. He has a fancy hat. And in ROTC, they get to wear fancy hats if they're officers, which they're lucky. And then looking at the uniform, guys, they went into kind of a little detail of this. Now, he came with a little pistol. And you can also store the pistol on the inside of this little pouch here, which is kind of tricky to get it back out. I have to finagle it in there. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby, come back. They don't want to come back out. Does not want to come back out. Okay, guys, we're going to pause this, get it out. Okay, I finally got it out. It is really tricky to get it out, but it is possible. Um, and I've got it stored in his hand, which this thing, his hand is, is, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show off the articulation in this thing. Um, checking this out, though, this is a really cool looking piece. Not a lot of detail, but it's pretty cool. Looks just like the uh, German guns from the 40s. Well, this is set in the 30s because this is from later, Raiders of the Lost Ark. One thing I want to point out, with Indy, it came with a packaging as well. It's pretty much the same thing and the same little thingy here, so we're not going to show that off. Continuing on with his uniform, though, um, looking at his belt here, he's got that little pouch, as well as the gun holster. Looking down, all the way to here, checking out his boots. 
they're not that detailed out but uh, then looking here at the top he's got his little flaps oh there you go hat and then that all right guys the moment i've been waiting for i want to show you guys his articulation this is so cool uh, his articulation is really good he can look up quite a bit can look down side to side as well as really good neck pivot and i love seeing neck pivot on a figure uh arms go in forwards backwards which is really good for saluting you know uh arms can go out uh, he could bend at the elbow just just bend he can't rotate which is unfortunate but you know it's part of it uh hands can go down can go up he can bend at the the fingers is really cool he bleed you can leave one finger out i'm going to demonstrate this you can leave one finger out while you bend the rest because that's part this is to lock the gun in place and that's to put the finger in the trigger which is really helpful and it can also do it on this hand as well so you can crunch it all the way in if you wanted to if you wanted to have Indy about to get in a fist fight with him or whatnot you could do that or you could leave the gun trigger finger out which is really cool uh, he also has a diaphragm joint give it just a second also has a diaphragm joint so he can bend backwards as well as forwards and he's got the diaphragm pivot in there so he can kick forward really great I really like this he can kick back he's got that butt joint though as I told you guys before he can ninja kick outward uh, he's got an upper leg rotation right here at the leg or at the knee and he can do that too uh, can bend there he also has no, nope, it's the same. Never mind. It's the same joint. There's no upper leg. No, 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 no. He does. No, that's the boot. Never mind. Guys, I'm getting too excited. Uh, he could bend at the foot. You can't really tell because of the boot, but he can bend at the foot up and down. Uh, he does no ankle pivot. But guys, I'm so happy with these articulation. With this articulation on this figure, it is amazing. Measuring out the German officer, he is standing at exactly 11 and a half inches tall. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Our first comparison is, of course, Indiana Jones, the figure he is meant to go with. And Indy is, of course, taller. But it's really cool to have someone to fight Indiana Jones now. So I can pose him fighting someone on the shelf. Next, we're going to compare him to the Disney Adventures Tarzan, which he's actually the... Tarzan's a little bit taller. I figured Tarzan would be same height but Tarzan's a little taller next we're going to compare him to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael Michael Bay version 1 6 scale and last but not least Captain Jack Sparrow and Jack Sparrow is clearly taller Alrighty guys, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you did, uh, be sure to check out my friend Jeremy at Anon Entertainment. Be sure to check out my friend uh, uh, Moki Mars 84848, Swifty Empire, Terminator 2007, and Inferior Ghost. Uh, and MLG Sansa Skeleton 1444. Um, be sure to check out my next review, which is going to be really cool. Um... <laughs> I'm not, I want to say it so bad. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm going to be reviewing my birthday present. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yay! I got the, all of them. I'll review that in the next video. Uh, be sure to check out Davy Jones when he comes out. I'm going to be reviewing that as soon as possible. Uh, that's going to be all the Indiana Jones figures I'll probably pick up for now. Um, I'm going to be picking up some more later, hopefully, but not right now. Uh, that's it for right now, guys. Um, I'm really excited. I love this figure. Uh, I love the articulation on this guy. Uh, it was just great. Uh, the articulation, the accessories, everything. All right, guys, I'm rambling on way too long. Peace out, and have an adventurous new year.